Okay, we're inside of Canva and I'm going to show you how to quickly uh, edit a template that you've made so that you can create new visuals for social media and other purposes. Uh, one of the things I love about Canva is there's all these templates that you can use. I've already created one and the way you can access it is inside of this menu here you would go to the drop down menu that says all your designs and that's going to go ahead and then have the ones that we've created. We started with the one you see here, Bayshore Condo. We created one uh, for, for another one uh, 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 for Madera Beach. We created another one for Treetops and it's super simple to do this. So uh, let's start with our original, which is this one. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a copy so that we don't ruin our original. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and go up here. I'm going to double click and I'm going to go ahead. These are size for Instagram. The post to Instagram and to Facebook are slightly different to optimize sizes. You sometimes don't even have to worry about it, but uh, this was made for an Instagram post. I'll show you later how to change that. I'm going to save this one as a um, St. Pete. I'm going to do the Madeira Beach again for you, Madeira. So I'll go ahead and save this as Instagram Madeira too. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to first uh, remove the old photo. So all I did was look, there's three elements here. There's the text box, there's the outline, there's the interior text, and then there's a fourth element, which is the background picture. So I've highlighted the background picture. I'm going to press delete. I'm going to highlight again to get this bottom picture out and we'll click delete. I'm going to go over here on the left to pictures that I've uploaded and you can upload your own images off of your computer when you have a new house or, or image that you want as the background. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to grab one of these images. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the Madero Con, Madero, uh townhouse. I'm going to drag it over here. Now what you'll see is it was superimposed on top. These are layers. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go up here while this is highlighted, I'm going to go to a range, I'm going to move it to the back. All right, now you can see it's behind this text, but it's still ahead of this box. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the box. I'm going to also move that forward. All right, I'm going to make sure that this one is also forward. Uh, it already is. So uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and now just kind of stretch this out and size it up. So I've got, I grab the hook here and I can uh, fill in all the white space, which is what I'm going to want to do. Lost our, um, lost our little friend here. So now we'll be, have the option to put that one forward. I'll go ahead and grab my hook and voila, I have uh, filled in the space. And what I'll do, I don't want any white space, so I'm gonna fill it in a little bit more. There you go. And then I can go ahead, I can put it over here, I can put it here. I'm gonna, I think, go in something like this. Uh, it work, okay. So one thing that you'll see here is that this kind of gets lost. If I want to go ahead and take this picture and I want to make it a little bit less sharp because it's not one of a view, it's not one of a, you know, uh, it's exterior. I'm going to go ahead and take the transparency down, see, and I can fade that out. So I'm going to fade that out so that our text pops. Then I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to highlight our text here. And I take what was on my clipboard. Oh, do that again. Grab what's on the clipboard here, and um, and then I'm good to go. So now I have Richie Holmes, Madera Beach Town Home. If I wanted to, I could drag that text down. I'm gonna just leave it here for for uh, this example. Then I'm gonna go ahead. I'll uh, save it before I go. So we're gonna save it as a PNG as opposed to a .jpg. It has a little higher resolution and it's recommended in most situations. So I hope you got something out of this quick video on how to use Canva. Play with it. I think you'll like it. Thank you.